everybody, this is Matt Brown from HotBoxCards.net, your source for online sports card subscription service. Uh, make sure you check out our website, HotBoxCards.net, and subscribe to our services. So if you get a chance to like this video, hit the notification button and subscribe to our channel. Uh, this is part two of our video series of my personal collection. So we went through one, we have, I have two, uh, two row boxes, and I went through one row last video, so go back and check out that video, and now we're going to go over through the second row. Just to let you know about my, uh, my preference with my personal collection, a lot of it has to do with my favorite teams, which were the San Francisco Giants, New York Giants, Boston Celtics, uh, Syracuse Orange Basketball, and University of Miami football. So a lot of the cards sometimes tend to be toward those teams, but a lot of different stuff is are is in here. So let's go through what I got and we'll find out what we what you guys like. So our first card is a Lawrence Taylor game use football card. This is from 2004 Don Ross Classics, classic pigskin, number to 250. You know, LT was probably one of the greatest ball players of all time in my opinion. Uh, the guy revolutionized the game. If you never, if you didn't live during LT's era when he played, you're missing out. Because what he would do during a game would just blow your mind. It had never been done before what he was doing. So if you ever get a chance, go back and watch some old Giants tape, old Giants videos of when he was playing. It was, he was unbelievable. Our next is our 2004 uh, Bowman Bazooka. Or, uh, not Bowman, but Bazooka, rookie of Eli Manning. This is the mini card variation. Uh, I think this is our Eli Manning rookie section. This is 2004 Flair Tradition, Eli Manning rookie. Notice his usual demeanor it is pretty, uh, uh, no feelings whatsoever for Eli, even when he wins the championship. But hey, he got us two Super Bowls. I'm happy. 2004 Playoff Prestige rookie, Eli Manning, with his old Miss uniform. This is from 2004 Upper Deck. This is from the National Sports Card Convention. They just had one recently, but I used to go to that all the time when I ran my own shop. Number to 500. Again, Upper Deck from the National National Sports Card Convention. We saw these cards in my other videos, but here's another one of the Larry Bird uh, Upper Deck tribute set they did in 92-93. Another card from that. Look at here. We got Bill Russell, Greats of the Game, Upper Deck. A uh, piece of his jersey, and this is from his San F University of San Francisco days. You know, how many jer game-worn jerseys of Bill Russell from University of San Francisco are there out there? Not many. Here's a piece of the swatch, and that is from 2010. Greats of the game. Played there from 53 to 56. Bill Russell, one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Of course, played with my Celtics. Here we have an Ernie Banks, upper deck piece of history swatch piece of jersey. What I like about this is it's the baby blue with that white pinstripe down the middle. That is a beautiful swatch, a beautiful piece of jersey. Ernie Banks, one of the greatest players of all time. Uh, what do they always say? Play it, play it, let's play two, as Ernie Banks used to always say. So there's Ernie Banks. Here we have another Celtic Hall of Famer, Jojo White. What I like about this, this is a piece of the parquet floor from Boston Garden. Uh, this is Skybox Premium. Parquet Performers, JoJo White, 2004-2005. Here we have two Celtic legends, Antoine Walker, Paul Pierce, dual game worn warm-up jerseys. So this is their warm-ups, finite elements. This is when Walker was technically with the Mavericks, had just been traded. Nice card, Paul Pierce. Here is Michael Jordan, piece of the UNC floor. Remember when this card was out, they made a whole set of these. I kept one, upper deck ovation. UNC floor, part of the Tar Heels floor with Michael Jordan. Of course, they won the national championship. And that is from 2001-2002. So I got Michael Jordan. Here we have one of my nicest cards in my collection. Topps Gallery, Ty Cobb, game-worn, back, game-used back card. Look at that. Detroit Tigers. From 2003, Topps Gallery, Ty Cobb. Hmm, great card. We saw one of these cards in my last video. This is Lawrence Taylor's second year, 83 Tops. Nice card. Let's get out. This is a pretty full row, so we'll take a little bit to go through it, but we'll get through it. It's another Eli Manning rookie, 2004 draft picks, uh, draft draft picks and prospects rookie card. 
of Eli. Another Eli Manning, 2004, Flare Ultra, Lucky 13. Not as, I mean, it's not the most valuable Eli Manning Ultra, Flare Ultra card, but hey, for me, I, I enjoyed it. This is a card my friend got me for Christmas one year named Steve. This is a Tiki Barber three-colored patch card. You got the white down here, the red and the blue, and a tiny bit of white at the top. Flare Showcase, Tiki Barber, number to 25, 2002. My friend Steve would always give me, uh, surprise me with Christmas gifts when I was one of my customers, and I would give him a Christmas gift, and he would always outdo me. Every year he would get something that just blew my mind. So, shout out to Steve and Syok out there. Here's an autogram, autograph, of uh, Sport Flare Sports Illustrated. Autogram, that is from two, 1999. That's an old one there. Autogram Hall of Fame quarterback. Here's another old-time player autograph. Clarence Ace Parker, 2009 Donruss Classics. Number to 25 also. Look at that. Played for the Dodgers. Um, I think the Dodgers eventually became the Giants, I believe. Not 100% sure, but old-time player. Not sure if he's still around. Here's another, look at this, game-worn back card, Willie Mays, game-worn jersey card, Buster Posey, numbered 62 of 63. Topps Heritage Clubhouse Collection, look at that, two of my greatest, the greatest all-time San Francisco Giants right here, Willie Mays, Buster Posey, from 2012. Beautiful card. Here we have a look at this, Joe Montana, Eli Manning, dual jersey card, Reflections. Um, some people would say, why is Eli Manning on a card with Joe Montana? Well, yeah, he wasn't Joe Montana, but he did get us two Super Bowls, so. That is from 2005. Look at that card. Montana Manning. Here's a 2004 score rookie, Eli Manning. Getting through this here. Again, these are part of my personal collection, so these aren't for sale or are going to be in my boxes or anything. Um, these are all, I think, these are, yeah, these are. So, I said in the last box how if you're from Chambersburg, you have to have a Tom Brookings autograph. I have a lot of Tom Brookings autographs, as you can tell. He's from, technically, he's from Fayetteville, Pennsylvania, which is right beside Chambersburg. But his cards usually say he's from Chambersburg. Tom Brookings, third base for the Tigers, including their World Series uh, championship team, played third base for them. So, as a chamber, shout out to all the Chambersburg, Pennsylvania folks who know who Tom Brookings is. Here's another Robert Parrish. I think we saw one of these in another video. We did. This is 7980, his second year card. 7980 tops uh, with the Warriors. Here's my only Larry Bird, I think, rookie that I had or had when I was growing up. This is an 8182 tops. But I think it's 8182. No, it's 8081. My bad. Uh, Scott May, Larry Bird, Jack Sigma. Of course, this is not the most expensive rookie. He also has from the same set, one with Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Dr. J. I never could have that card, never have, and don't know if I'll ever get that card. But at least I got one Larry Bird rookie, so I'll take that. Here's a look at this piece of the puck. This is a Pave Bure Distinctive Pucks, number 100. But what I like about this is, I, if I picked any hockey team I liked, it was probably the Islanders. But you can tell this is an Islanders puck. It says N-E-W and N-Y, and that's part of their logo. Look at that puck. Most puck cards are just black. This one has a logo on it. Beautiful card from Upper Deck, 2002-2003. Like I said before, I'm a big University of Miami fan. Here's a Ken Dorsey piece of his Miami uniform. Ken Dorsey, 2003. This is from Fleer Platinum. Also from 2003, Collegiate Cuts, Tops. Ken Dorsey again, another piece of his University of Miami jersey. Got us one national championship. Should have had two, but the refs blew that call versus Ohio State. Here's another Eli Manning rookie, 2004 Upper Deck Pro Six Diamond Collection. Eli Manning. Nice card, nice card. Here's a Carl Banks rookie, 1985 Tops. Another great outstanding linebacker for the Giants. Him and L him on the other side of LT was except was an exceptional team. I'm telling you what, if LT didn't get you, Carl Banks did. Very underrated player. Here's a Stan Musial uh, jersey card. This is Tops Chrome Record Breakers, I believe. Yes, 2003. And this is a refractor. 
The 2003 Topps Chrome Refractor Record Breaker Stand Usual. Piece of his memorabilia. Piece of his jersey. All right, what we got next here? We have a 74, 75, I think, Celtics team leaders with John Havlicek, Hall of Famer, JoJo White Hall of Famer, Dave Cowens Hall of Famer, JoJo White Hall of Famer. Look at that. That is nice. That's 74, 75, I believe it is, tops. Now, I do collect some non-sport cards. Here's one of the cards. Now, this I actually got signed at the National, National Sports Card Convention 2006. Bench warmer card signed by... Uh, and Toya? I'm not really sure. Aubrey Lemon. Oh, I'm sorry. Aubrey Lemon. Don't know who she is, but hey, I got an autograph card from her. I think it was free, too, so I'll take that. Here's a Phil Simms second year card, 1981 Tops. One of my favorite giant, probably my favorite giant quarterback of all time. Of course, when I was growing up, it was, you know, I watched that 86 team, and that 86 team was unbelievable, led by Phil Simms. Another card of that uh, Larry Bird set. Should be almost done with that. But that's a nice card there of Larry Bird. Now this card, Charles Mann autograph. Funny story. The Washington Redskins used to do their preseason, their training camp in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. So as a kid, uh, we would go up sometimes. To, to, we lived in Chambersburg, but we go up to Carlisle sometimes because they had some good malls up there for Christmas, back to school Christmas shopping. And Charles Mann was at the mall in the arcade, and he was actually paying for kids to play video games at the arcade while he was playing. And there was a card dealer there. We went up and bought a 1991 Flair card of him and asked him to sign it, and sure enough, he did. So I got that in person when I was a little kid, Charles Mann. Not a Redskin fan, but, hey, he was a very, very nice guy. Here's a Monte Irvin. Autograph. This was sent, uh, a friend of mine, Rodney, who we saw in an earlier video, would send cards out to players and get them to sign. So I don't know if it's legit or auto pen or what, but Monty Irvin autograph there. Well, I guess I was wrong. There's two more cards the Larry Bird set. There's the header. And there's the Larry Bird Upper Deck 92-93 set. Here's a Will Clark autograph. Now, funny story, why I have this, I don't think it's legit, but I could be wrong. When I was a kid, I sent this, and this is my favorite player of all time, maybe become a Giants fan. I sent this to Will Clark, and he sent this back. So I'm not sure it's authentic. It looks maybe like an auto pen, maybe, but I'm not 100% sure. But I kept it, because as a kid, I mean, I was I, I was thrilled to death when I got that in the mail. A Will Clark autograph card, that he would actually take the time to do that. Here's another Robert Parrish, the Chief. For Fleer, 1986-87. I think that's Fleer's first year. Of course, Michael Jordan, rookie, is in that year. Another Larry Bird sticker. That's from 86-87. Gotta love me some Bird. Bird was my favorite ball player. Here's the 1980-81 tops. Robert Parrish, there on the left. Leonard Robertson and Dwight Jones don't care about, but there's the Chief. I think that was his first card with him in a Celtics uniform. Because before that, we've seen he's with the Warriors. Here's a, oh, look at this, Jim Beheim. As a Syracuse Orange fan, you have to have a card of signed by Jim Beheim. Press pass. Uh, they actually inserted their cards that year. Jim Beheim. This is from 2002. They did some coaches. And there's my Beheim autograph. Got to visit University of Syracuse once and went through their pa uh, practice facility and everything. But Jim Beheim. God, I, lo I love Jim Beheim. Still do. Hopefully he keeps coaching for another 50 years. All right, another stack here. We got another Chief. This time it's Robert Parrish jersey memorabilia card. Look at that. Upper Deck Legendary jerseys from 2001. 2001, 2002. The Chief. Here's another Will Clark jersey from Upper Deck Classics. Move that down so you can see it. Uh, not sure of the year. 2005, that's it. Here's a Larry Bird, I believe 92, 93 Tops Gold. Tops All Star Gold, Larry Bird. There's an LT sticker from 1983 Tops, his second year. There's the sticker, the back of the sticker. Now, I'm also, like I said before, a big wrestling fan. And I like these kind of swatches. Look at this. This is Terry Reynolds, Cherry Girl. This is a event worn outfit. And look at all this, the sparkles, and, the little, and it's raised up quite a bit. From Absolute Divas 2002, Terry. Terry Reynolds, of course, she used to be married to Gold Dust, Dustin Reynolds. 
there is Terry Mar. I think her name, they called her Mar Marlena was her name in wrestling. There's a Devin Hester, University of Miami. I'm a big Miami Hurricane fan. There's his autograph from Press Pass. Number to 200, Devin Hester. This is a card of my, I've been told, my second cousin, Shane Conlon, played at Penn State All-American, also a member of the Buffalo Bills. So I'm technically related to Shane. I think I have an autograph somewhere in here of him. This was a front row promo card of Shane Conlon. Kept. There's a Larry Bird, action-packed. You can see, I think Action Packed only did maybe one year of basketball or something. I'm not sure. Basketball Hall of Fame. 93-94 uh, would have been this card. All right, we're about halfway through. Some of these I'll try to try to keep them on the back side. All right. So first up, we have Antrol Roll, University of Miami, jersey card for Topps Draft Picks. Not sure if I paid two bucks, but I might have. 2005. Another Larry Bird card for Fleer All-Star Team, 80, was that 86? Yeah, no, 88, 89, Fleer. We have, oh, look at this. We have a Joe Namath patch card from Ultimate Collection, number to 150. Joe Willie Namath. I love the old guys, you know, memorabilia cards. 2004. That is a nice Joe Namath. Beautiful card. Here we have a Jerry Rice rookie. Look at that. It's not in the best of shape, but it is a Jerry Rice rookie. There you go. That is 1986 tops. Jerry Rice rookie. Nice part of the collection. There's Kevin Mitchell. Remember when he used to, he caught that ball barehanded against the Reds, I think it was. Unbelievable. Kevin Mitchell, 1989. Him and Will Clark just like battled for that MVP honors. But what a year for him. Kevin Mitchell, Topps fan favorites from 2003. There's another Jeremy Shockey card, jersey, and piece of football. And that looks like it might be part of the W for Wilson, maybe. I'm not sure. This is Flair. Uh, I think this is from his rookie year, 2002. Yep, dual memorabilia card for Jeremy Shockey. All right, next up, we got Edger and James. Not a Colts fan, but as you can tell in that green, that's a piece of his University of Miami jersey. Upper deck piece of history, Edger and James. Uh, not sure. 2002. Man, some of those years are hard to read, especially the older you get. Here's a Ken Stabler card autographed. A friend of mine had sent away, so I'm not sure it's legit, but there's the snake, Kenny Stabler. Here's a Peyton Manning, Topps Chrome rookie. Payne Manning, Topps Chrome. Was that 1990? Nope, 1998. It's a nice card. Here's, oh, here's the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Son of a plumber, Pacific. This is when he was in TNA for a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if I paid 15 or not for that, but here's Dusty Rhodes' autograph. No longer with us. Wrestling fans, you gotta love that. Here's, oh, look at this. John Elway, two-colored patch card for the Broncos, 2005 Don Ross Classics. All you Bronco fans, number to 25. Beautiful card. And we have a 2004 Press Pass uh, jersey card of Eli Manning, number to 385. Yep, 385. Coming down the home stretch here, we have another 2004 Ultra Lucky 13 Eli Rookie. We have, oh, look at this, Robin Yunt. Robin Yunt, and that is 2003 Don Ross, Timeline Threads. I like the baby blue. I like the baby blue with the, with the Brewers. Not a Brewers fan, but yeah, I'd be a fan of Robin Yunt. A hell of a player. Number to 78. Number to 78. It's another Eli Manning rookie, 2004 freshman class, Upper Deck Diamond Collection. Like that. And keep going with another Eli Manning rookie. 2004, I was collecting a lot, so I got a lot of Eli Manning rookies. Here's a 1982 Topps Cal Ripken rookie. Gotta have that part of your collection. Gotta have the Ripken. 1982 Topps. Alright, this is the last stack of what we have for this side. Again, we got another whole box eventually for videos 3 and 4. So we have 4 part. It's for another wrestling thing. Here is Trish Stratus. Piece of her pants. Uh, there's the rock beside her. Called a gender match. Game-worn pants, 2002. 
WWE came out with that. There was a Carlos Huerta, University of Miami kicker. Um, I sent that off to him. He signed it. I don't think he would not not sign it or get somebody else to. A score rookie of him. There's, oh, look at that. Tug McGraw, Hall of Famer. I think he's Hall of Fame. It's in bad shape. But it's a T206 or a T205 polar bear. I'm not sure which one. I always get them mixed up, the T205 and the T206. But Tug McGraw. Oh, here we got Kerry Collins and Michael Strahan. 2004 playoff hog heaven. Pig Pals. Number to 100. Took us to that Super Bowl against the Ravens. That was more than I expected from that team, I'll tell you what. But we got demolished by the Ravens. There's a Dave Brown autograph. Man, he was horrible. Dave Brown from University of Duke. Let's hope Daniel Jones does a little bit better for University of Duke quarterbacks. There's Dave Brown. That's a nice looking card, though, really. It's numbered. It's hard to see, but it's numbered like 2950 or something. But Dave Brown from Pinnacle. Here we got Dan Faust autograph. Again, this is one that I sent away to him and he signed it. Not sure if it's legit or not, but who knows. Here we have, oh, here we have HBK, the Heartbreak Kid game, event-worn shirt, Shawn Michaels. WWE Heritage Ringside Relics, Shawn Michaels. And next up, look at this, Earl Campbell. We got two colors here. Look at that for the Houston Oilers, one of the best running backs of all time. Never really got to see him play before my time. 2005 Don Ross Gridiron Gear, number to 25. 25 on the Earl Campbell. Here we have Michael Strahan, Battle Warren, Upper Deck, piece of his jersey. That is from 2002. Here we have Matt Barr, a friend of mine, at, uh, Rodney had mailed that off and got it signed, and I got it off him. There's Matt Barr, one of our famous kickers. Here we have a Willie McCovey, Artifacts, number to 325, piece of his jersey there, Artifacts. That is from... 2005, 2005, and last card of this box in this video, LT, look at that, 2003 Leaf, certified materials jersey, fabric of the game, number to 25, you would think a card numbered to 25 would have like a patch, not just the white, but hey, LT, so... I hope you guys liked that video. Um, I got there'll be two more videos eventually with the rest of my personal collection, including my top hit, my top hit ever pulled out of the pack. That'll be coming up in one of my future videos. So hit the like button, subscribe to our videos when the next one comes, and I'll see you next time. And again, check out our website, www.hotboxcards.net. Have a good night.